Mr. President, aside from the wall, and I just came from McAllen, Texas, Rio Grande Valley, right. they're getting hit so hard from coast to coast. All the Border Patrol chiefs tell me, in addition to the wall, they need Congress to roll their sleeves up oh, and well, to change the these thing. laws. Griff, we could change these laws in 15 minutes. I could change them, uh, catch and release. You know what that is, Democrats. Yes, you catch the person, you take their name, and you release them, okay? Right. And we're not doing that anymore, and it's just a horrible thing. Chain migration, where you come in and you have hundreds, of, you have a lot of people come in with you. Your mother, your father, your uncle, your aunt, your grandmother, your grandfather, your brothers and sisters. And, I mean, we had a case where somebody that, as you know, radical Islam, he ran somebody, he ran many people down on the West Side Highway in New York, you know it well, right. and uh, killed eight people, wounded a horribly injured 12 people, I mean, sure. missing arms and legs. And he has many people under chain migration. Many of his relatives have come in with him. Uh, it's crazy. And then, of course, you have the lottery, visa lottery, where they pick them and they pick people. And these countries aren't giving us their finest, okay? They're not giving us their finest. I'm not going to say they give us their worst, but, you know, why wouldn't they? So we have to get rid of these things, and we can have it so easy. What has happened, though, and you've seen it, is Mexico now, right. for the first time, is apprehending people and bringing them back with and this is otherwise we're going to close up the border are any democrats willing to work with you to change the well laws? we're going to find out i think they're getting hurt badly politically and then once they get hurt badly politically they'll start working with us in the meantime uh, mexico is doing a job that we could be doing but mexico is now apprehending people at their southern border right and they're bringing them back to honduras or guatemala or the, wherever they come from el salvador uh, they're also stopping the Mexicans from coming in. And we've had a great four days, and it only started when I said we're going to close the border. And I will close the border, or I'll put the tariffs on the cars that they make and they send into our country essentially tax-free. And uh, I'll put tariffs on there, and then I'll close the border after that if that doesn't so work. So let's address that. How would you put a tariff on it when your own agreement precludes that? The well, first we, haven't, we haven't finished our agreement yet. So yeah. I'll put that in there. I'm going to put it in there because... If they, look, people are pouring through Mexico. They come from other countries. I already stopped the money. We pay them over $500 million, Honduras, Guatemala, El Salvador, and others. We stopped the money. Some people would say, oh, you should give them more money. The Democrats say give them more money. They're forming caravans to get people out. I've been in them. And you know what? They're not putting their best people in those caravans, OK? But they're forming caravans. They're putting people in. They're sending them up. You know it better than anybody. You know what's going on. So, Mr. President, is it time to call for a summit between yourself, the president of Mexico, no. the presidents of Honduras, Guatemala, El Salvador? No, I don't need a summit. I think we've done very well without the summit. They understand. We stopped. We're saving $550 million. Okay. And I respectfully told, and I thank him very much, because for the last four days, it's been great. You see, that whole stream is drying up. They could stop them at their southern border, their southern border. And uh, you look at what's happening now. They pulled in 1,500, 1,500 yesterday. They brought them back. They pulled in over 1,000 the day before, over 1,000 the day before that. Today, I haven't gotten the number, but I understand well, it's a lot. Where I was in RGV, 14 uh, straight days of 1,000 plus, 1,400 yesterday. And this is what I want to address with you. They're releasing now, particularly the family units, uh, to the public. In the fabric of the U.S., tens of thousands uh, are being released and will continue. Are we witnessing the second generation of DACA forming? No, we're witnessing uh, people that are going to be brought out of the country. Uh, the country is full. We have our system is full. We can't do it anymore. Uh, we go by this horrible Flora situation. You know, that decision is a horror show. We have to release after 20 days. And we built big detention areas, but they fill up immediately. There's never been so many people coming up, and that's because they're gaming the system, and the system has changed for the worse because of what happened with Democrats and what they've done in terms of Congress. Mm -hmm. So if we change the laws, it would be very easy. But in the meantime, Mexico, if they stop the people from coming in, we won't have a lot of people coming at the border. News today, your nominee for ICE director, Ronald Vitello, 30 years in the job. Why did you withdraw his nomination? Because we may go a different way. Uh, we may have to go a very tough way, and we're going to see, and we'll see. Ron's a good guy. I know him well. He's done a good job. But we may just go a different way, a little bit tougher. Tough question for you. 
since you've done so much on immigration and made it a central issue, uh, we may end up, by your administration's own projections, upwards of a million undocumented immigrants added to the existing population. What does that say about your administration's Well, handling? I think what happened is I've proven to be right. If we were able to build the wall, now I've gotten the money for the wall. And you take a look at this. I hope you're covering it because we have miles and miles of it being built right now. Uh, Hundreds of miles are under construction, and, and more importantly, they're under contract. Uh, I think 157 miles right now is under contract. They're getting ready to start. The Rio Grande, we're doing a lot of work there. That's where a lot of people come in. And uh, I've shown the people that I was right. I mean, this is what's been happening for a long time. It's been happening for a long time. They didn't even put down the numbers. They didn't used to put down the real numbers. I mean, you look at what's happened. You know, in the old days, they didn't mark down. They didn't say how many people were coming in. What we're doing is the gang members don't get in, and if they do get in, ICE is getting them out. The bad ones. We have a lot of bad ones, you know, that want to get in. And when you look at the caravans, they're composed of people that, I'm sorry, but they're not supposed to be coming into our country, and we're stopping it. But what we will be doing is now our system is full. And I told our people today, our system is full. We can't take any more. Right. The asylum is being scammed, the whole asylum system. I and mean, you have gang members, tough people, saying they're afraid to be in their country. They're not afraid. You and then they'll come up with flags. They're holding flags from the country.